let's do the following um, uh, thought experiment. Imagine a village that, uh, say, grows some kind of uh, cereal, uh, you know, uh, barley, wheat, rice. Now, what is typical about cereal is that it is seasonal. So the harvest typically takes place within a very short time in the year. And then even if there is no surplus, the farmers have to store it for their survival throughout the year. Now, suppose a tax collector arrives after the harvest is finished, all the crop is stored. The tax collector arrives with a little army, of course. I mean, imagine, think of, for instance, ancient Egypt, a tax collector on behalf of the pharaoh arrives to the village and says, I came to tax you, give me 20% of your crop. Well, the head of the village could say, sorry, I don't have any surplus this year. What would the tax collector say? Oh, my apologies, I will try my luck next year. Of course not. Even today, you cannot tell the government, sorry, I don't have any surplus. So, of course, in historical times, this claim is ridiculous. I, you don't have surplus, so what? I see the grain here. I'll just take 20%. Oh, but some people would die. Well, who cares? We're talking about history. Who cares? Today, in many places, people don't care about death of innocent people. So, of course, historically, this was the case. So, this just simple thought experiment illustrates that the idea that surplus is a prerequisite for taxation is just wrong.